Hi, I'm Chin Lang and I'm an illustrator. Welcome to my home here in Corktown, Toronto. It's my home and also my studio. Well, I always loved to draw ever since I was little, like three years old, I used to always sketch and um, my sister and I would always be drawing in our spare time and rather than going outside to play, we'd always like to, to draw and stay at home. And my father is an artist too, so I grew up watching him paint and uh, work. So spending long days, you know, sitting beside him and doing my sketches while he's painting on his canvas. And my mo mother too, she loved to draw as, um, as a hobby. So I've been doing books since 2009, so I've done a lot. Um, but the favorite ones I want to mention are the latest one that I've worked on. Um, I'm actually just wrapped up a few months ago one with Grandwood Books that I'm really excited about uh, called When I Found Grandma. It's a very special project to me. Uh, when the manuscript was presented to me, I felt like I could really relate to it um, because it's a story of a young girl, Indian girl, um, relationship with her grandmother who's visiting from India. So there's a culture clash, there's a generation also, um, the differences of well, the, the different generation. And, and uh, it's something that I could really relate to when my grandmother visited from China when I was 14 or 15 years old and I was a teenager and I was just trying to fit in. And uh, maybe I wasn't so interested in people knowing that I was Chinese. I just wanted to be like a Western girl. So it was something that I really, that just really spoke to me, the, the complexity of the relationship between the granddaughter who did miss her grandma and was excited to see her. And at the same time, she's torn with the idea that, okay, like you're kind of really obvious with your clothes, your flashy clothes, and you're very loud and she just doesn't know how to juggle with the two. So that's a book I'm very, very excited um, for, for the release next year. So where do I draw my inspiration from? I get it from a lot of places. Uh, well, the key thing is I always keep my sketchbook with me so that wherever I go, if I'm on the streetcar looking out the window and I see somebody really interesting, I'll be able to remember that and sketch it down. Because I think um, the key in making a character also very kind of interesting and original is to use a lot of day-to-day -day, you know real people as reference instead of just drawing from memory because when you draw from memory you just end up getting into your comfort zone and you end up doing draw something very redundant i think and i get inspiration from photography uh, from other illustrators from music too sometimes, like just a mood will help me figure out how I want my lines to flow. So yeah, the inspiration come from all kinds of places. I think it's a matter of making sure you, you keep your eyes open and, and see it. Well, thank you for coming today and visiting my studio. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something about my work.